Hello there, it's Paul in Perth here again. You would recall, some of you anyway, would recall a video that I filmed some time ago called How to Magnetise a Screwdriver. So this video is the prequel to that video. In that video you would recall that I had a speaker magnet and a hard drive magnet out of a computer. What I didn't do in that video was explain how you get these magnets. So what I'm going to do in this video is explain that question. So I've got an old style speaker here and in the next scene, my brother Noel is going to show you firstly how to get the speaker out of the speaker box and then Noel is going to show you how to get this magnet off the back of the speaker, okay? And in the scene after that, I'm going to show you how to take that old, that old computer that you've got in your attic that you've been leaving there, how to open that up how to find the hard drive and then how to open that hard drive out. I open it up and get the, the super magnet out of there. There's actually two super magnets in every single one of those hard drives. So in the next scene, I'll be filming Noel taking this, um, this speaker apart to get out this round magnet. All right, Noel, do you want to say hi to your loving, your loving friends here? Yeah, hi everyone. Hello We're there, Noel. to um, pull the covers off and get the speaker out of this one. All right, so I'll Noel's... I'll talk you through it. Yeah, I'll talk you through it. So Noel's now using that flathead screwdriver and he's just going to peel off that fascia. So there is, um, there is the front of the speaker. Now, now Noel will go to the, to the back of the speaker. And... In this case, what we've done, we've removed all but two, two screws just to make it easy for you. So Noel's going to remove the last two screws. Whoa. Got it out? It's not threaded. Okay, that's good. Now that, that whole panel will lift out, Noel. Nice little slot there. Yep, yeah, perfect. All right, and I'll just come forward and I'll just show, show everyone what's down there. So that's what they look like when they're mounted in the back. And Noel's just going to show you that there's four screws that those um, speakers are mounted on. There we go. Okay, and we're now back to normal human speed. So Noel's now got, the, uh, got that speaker out. So, yeah, so Noel's, Noel's just dis disconnecting the wires the old fashioned way. So there we go. We've got the speaker out. So Noel's got the speaker. So what we'll do now is we'll change scenes and we'll go out to the vice and Noel is gonna show you how to um, disassemble that, that round magnet at the back from the front speaker cone. Okay, so we're out by the um, workshop bench now and Noel's got the speaker there and Noel's gonna show you that actually these speakers are most of the time are made of just plastic or, and, or rubber or paper. And in this case, it's mainly paper. So as you can see, Noel's having no trouble at all um, tearing, that, tearing that speaker cone apart. I'll give you a higher angle. There you go. Now, when Noel, yep, they're perfect, Noel. Good job, mate. Um, so now, Noel's going to obliterate that cone in the middle. Oh, you go around the. Oh, okay, is that where it is? Okay. Noel, Noel deconstructed the first one, so Noel knows where to go better than I do. Essentially, what there is is there's four um, studs or four kind of rivets. There you go. So if you see the, those four rivets there. One, Oops, magnet. Yeah, it's a magnet, yeah. One, two, three, four. Those are the rivets that are holding the cone onto the round magnet. So what Noel needs to do is, is drill them out with a drill. And as luck would have it, we have a drill here. So, so Noel, you're in the vice, eh? Okay, that's good. Yep, that's good. All right, I'll come round and... Now what we'll do is we'll go into a, a time speed up again. So I'll speed this up and make it all nice and good for you.
No, it's you're, coming. You're pretty close, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, got it. Boom. Okay. So Noel will just show you that to camera now. So that's the that's the back side, and that is the exposed side there. Now, missed. Oh, is that the problem? Oh, you missed on one of them. Okay. So what Noel's going to do now is we're going to grab an angle grinder. And we're going to grind that flat because remember we need to we need we're going to be using it for two things. One is to magnetise screwdrivers, but the other thing is we actually want it to be a fridge magnet. So what Noel is going to do now is he's going to get rid of the rest of those rivets so that they're all nice and flat. So pull it back and then push it forward again. All right, so now Noel's got those um, four raised areas flat. So just move your hand there, Noel. Yep, there we go. So that's those four areas. Now, what Noel and I found with the first magnet is all those iron filings, of course, are attracted to the magnet. So they're all sitting there. So what Noel and I found is if we go to the, um, the, the laundry sink and we uh, use water and scrape at the same time, it takes about five minutes, but you do eventually get those iron filings to go down the drain. So in the next scene, we'll be at the laundry sink and we'll be getting rid of those bits of iron filings. Okay, so we're now in the laundry. And as you can see, we've got these bits of iron filings around the, uh, around the magnet. So all I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna use water as my sort of mechanical um, uh, device to move move the um, bits of iron away and I'm going to use various picks and things to to clean up in there. I will do this as a time lapse because it, it will take a while, it's a little bit boring. Love it. So I've got off, I can feel there's a couple of little bits left on there, but I've, I've got a feeling I'll be able to get those off with a little paper towel or something when I'm finished. So let's get over to the fridge and see, see how it looks on the fridge. You can keep it running if you want, Noel, if you just walk backwards. So this is our Sony uh, speaker that has become a Sony magnet. That is now a Sony fridge magnet. Okay, so and a line of water coming off it. There we go. Okay, so now we have created, or now we have turned a an old speaker that was completely useless into something that is immediately use, useful because I can use it as a fridge magnet. But if you remember from that other video, you can also use this to magnetize screwdrivers. So next we'll move on to getting the super magnets out of the hard drives. Okay, so a lot of you will have an old computer that you've had lying around the place and you're probably getting ready to throw it out because it's, it's lost its usefulness to you. It's maybe got an old version of Windows or an old version of Apple on it or something like that. And, but you've kept it around and that's a really good thing because for two reasons, I don't want you to dispose of your hard drive. So your hard drive looks like that and I'm gonna show you how to get it out of there. The reason you wanna hold on to these is firstly, there's a very good chance there's data on there that you want. So there might be photographs on there, there might be documents, um, there may even be a Bitcoin wallet that's actually worth quite a bit of money. So the first thing is, you may wanna get the disk out to get information off it. So if you need to do that, you can buy an external hard drive caddy, put this into the caddy, and then connect it up to your current computer, and you can copy the information off. So that's the first reason you might, might want it. Once you've done that, you want to digitally cleanse it. So you do not want anyone getting your bank details. Now, a really easy way to prevent bad people from getting your bank details when you dispose of your computer is to absolutely destroy this thing. And that brings me to the second reason you want to keep these is because they've got super magnets in them, which are these things here and those control the hard drive heads. And what I'm gonna show you is how to get out these magnets and at the same time, 
you are absolutely going to destroy the data on this hard drive. So the bad guys will not be able to get your bank details after we've done what we're about to do, okay? So let's look at the computer, and I'm going to assume that you don't know much about the insides. What you're going to need to do is take off the um, one of the side inspection panels. Now, this is a particularly easy model. All I had to do was pull a lever. On some models, you will have to get a Phillips head screwdriver, and there'll be two screws at the rear. But it's not hard. You just need to get that side cover off. And you don't need to understand what all of these things are. What you're looking for on a desktop is a thing that looks like that. And on a laptop, you'd be looking for something that looks like that. Now, you can see straight away that over here, these are the hard drives here. So um, they are, that is where the data is stored. And I've tucked away a little, a little extra one in there because I just wanted to remind myself to show you that um, there's several different um, plug types and this plug type is called IDE. So the IDEs have 40 pins in a square grid. The SATA style has these, uh, these L-shaped um, connectors. This particular hard drive is a really, a really uh, fun one because this is from the changeover when we went from having SATA power cables, um, having just left Molex. So that there is called a Molex connector and the Molex ones look like that. So that would have plugged, which way have I got it right on the right way? That would have plugged into there. That no, wrong way. Always get it. There we go. Okay. So Molex plug would have gone on like that and produced power. Oh, I can see actually the pins are bent on that one. That's what's wrong there. Okay, so Molex power goes on like that. SATA power goes on like that. So those are equivalent. You would need one or the other, but not both. That is the data cable there. Whereas on an IDE drive, that is data. And there's your Molex cable that produces power. Okay. Now, having located your hard drive, hard drive or hard drives, because notice this one actually has two, you then need to take it apart. What I've done is I bought one of these little kits off, um, off eBay, and I think it cost me about $12 delivered. That's 12 Australian dollars. That'd be about nine US. And it's got everything you could need to do these little tiny jobs. What I've found is for these desktop hard drives, they are a T9 or a Torx 9. For the laptop ones, they are a Torx 6. So they're a very, very small, uh, they're a very, very small um, star-shaped head, and um, that's a T9 and that's a T6. So let's get into the fun bit, and let's take this hard drive actually apart, and I'll show you the super magnets, show you how to get them out, and I'll show you how to absolutely destroy the disc so it is completely unreadable for anyone in the future. So at the moment, I'm just taking off these... Um, backing Torx 9s. Now on any given hard drive, they'll be in a slightly different configuration. This is quite a simple one with six around the outside. There's quite often one in the middle, um, which, oh yeah, there it is, there is one there. I'll get to that in a second. Okay, now there's this the secret one there and I can, I can see it hiding under the hiding under the sticker, and there normally is um, an extra one in the middle. So this is this is to be expected. And there it is there, you can see it, see it hiding there. That is quite typical that there's one in the middle. So we'll just take that one out as well. Right, and if I've got all of them, I should then be able to split this top off from the base. There we go. All right, so we're in. So this is the this is the geometry of the inside of a um, hard drive. So that is the hard drive platter. 
So if you heard about people talking about disk drives, that is the actual disk, okay? So that spins. And if you've heard people talk about hard drive heads, that's the head there. So that head, now I'm, I'm gonna wreck the disk when I do this, but that head spins in and out to the various tracks. So now I will scratch it because I don't care about this one, but there'll be tracks one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up to whatever. And this head will move between track whatever and sector whatever, because if you imagine it's cut like a pizza pie, so you have all these various sectors and the hard drive goes and reads them. Now, to be able to move so fast, it has super magnets. So the, the magnets are there and there, there's two of them. So using the same tool that I was using before, so that T9, I'm now just gonna take them off. And what you're going to find is that now you actually have, because it is a magnet, it's actually going to resist you. But there you go. And there's there's your first soup, there's your first magnet. Um, no, actually, you know what? This one's only got one. Okay, this has only got the bottom one. So what we need to do is get that bottom one out. to get this head out so I'll just absolutely cane it and destroy it. There we go. Okay. Right and that is definitely a super magnet. So that there, okay, you can see it's very very strong. So same as before if we go over to the fridge what we're going to find is immediately what we have is a lovely fridge magnet so I'll put this here with my, I'll put the light on for you. And there's my mum and dad. So you can see my mum and dad there. It's Noel's mum and dad too, um, with our old EJ Holden. And that's mum and dad there with a uh, Toyota Corona. And you can see that, that that hard drive magnet is very, very well stuck on, okay? That is a very, very strong magnet. Hi there, I've just realized I didn't show you how to destroy the hard drive. It's actually really, really easy. Um, well, I've destroyed the head, so that's that's the first thing that should tell you this hard drive's in bad shape. All you really need to do is get a screwdriver and just scratch the upper platter, and if there's um, either a lower platter or the bottom side of the platter, then there is no way that, that, is, that the information on that disc is going to be readable. So just run a screwdriver over it a few times, and at that point, that is absolutely irrecoverable. That, that cannot be recovered now, it's destroyed. Okay, so it's as simple as that. So if you've liked this, please like, subscribe and comment, and I'll see you next time from Paul in Perth. See ya.